Hey folks, thanks for checking out a little bit of the next level on BTN.com. This is our cast and crew that you can see every Tuesday on the Big Ten Network. The big fella John Jansen, the guru Russ Landy, and the ultimate driving machine Brandon M. Williams. I'm Rick Pizzo. All right, let's take a look at Russ's draft board. This is Russ's projected top 10 NFL Big Ten prospects as of right now. And this is a big change from last week because for the first time this season, Russ, Jared Crick, not number one, it's his teammate, Alfonso Dennard. Why is Dennard there, even though he's been hurt and hasn't been outstanding yet this season? Well, I think you're just looking at what he did last year. I think when you look at Dennard, he's a very athletic kid, very good feet. He pedals quickly, transitions, makes plays on the ball, and Crick had to fall. He had the, the head injury, missed a game a week ago this week against Wisconsin. He really didn't play well. He didn't make an impact, so he falls down the board a little bit. Dennard's a very good player. He's going to be either a high second or a low first round pick. You made Brandon very happy, yes. didn't he? Number nine, a, new guy, Nick Toon. I see a guy that jumped on your board, Nick Toon, a guy who had a really good game against the Nebraska defense dinner, so I don't know where you're going with that, but he, he runs really precise routes. He catches the football with his hands, and I see why he's jumped up there. Great pedigree, too. Great yes. pedigree, and he also the thing he's shown is a little more burst than you expect, yeah. and I think that's the reason I think he's got a chance to really be a good player at the next level. Yeah. What about you, John? What stands out in this week's board? Well, Jeff Allen, I, I think he's going to continue to move up the board, and, and you guys are laughing because I'm talking about <laughs> the offensive only tackle. Old line we said the, the only old lineman the on the board. Old line John will find Jeez, a way to talk uh, about him. But the reason I like him is because at Illinois, they play a weak and a strong side tackle, which means he's going to be playing left tackle some, he's going to be playing right tackle some, and, and that's going to give him the ability to play anywhere across the line in the NFL. And, and if he doesn't go in and start right away, but can back up all those positions, mm. even at the end of his career, it's going to extend it because yeah. those guys are a premium. But I, I do want to ask, Mike Martin is, is a part of a defense that shuts out Minnesota, and you move <laughs> him from five to six. Well, How I think you lose? just have to look at it. It's, it's not so much him it's, losing. It's just a few other players climbing oh. up, like Devon Still from Penn State. The Red Arrow hurts. It's a constantly that. evolving, it's yes, a constantly exactly. evolving yeah. board. Yeah. Much like our touchdown competition, which Russ leads handily. You can it's check that out week. on the <laughs> next level. One Every week. Tuesday, for the fellas, I'm Rick. Make sure you check us out Tuesday nights on the Big Ten Network.